It's a week before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tie the knot in the wedding of the year. Reporter Laura Turner is in the UK and I spoke with her a short time ago from outside Buckingham Palace. Laura, good to see you. We all love a royal wedding, but this one has a touch of Hollywood. Is London buzzing? Good evening to you, Tracy. It absolutely is. London is thick with royal fever at the moment. Of course, we are just a little over a week from the big day. And as you mentioned, this has got, well, it's got Hollywood about it. This wedding is expected to be uh, more popular. We have more people watch it and more people pour into the UK to witness it personally than that of Prince William and Kate. And that is, of course, because Meghan is already a Hollywood princess. And of course, with that, Tracy comes, uh, well, I guess, fears for security too. We're expecting to see them spend about 60 million Australian dollars just on security alone. So lots of planning and lots of money to be spent on the big day. It's a thoroughly modern royal wedding. The bride is a divorcee. Her parents are divorced. Um, they're flying in for the wedding, of course, is what we hear. When do they arrive? Reports are, Tracy, that they're actually already here and it is going to be a very big few days, uh, the week leading up to the wedding, of course, for Tom Markle and for, uh, for Meghan's beloved mum, Doria Ragland. Uh, we know that uh, Harry has never met her dad, so there's going to be a private meeting next week between Harry and Meghan's dad. Of course, it will be a very special moment. There's also going to be private meetings with the Queen too and other members of the royal family so they can all get to know one another before the big day. Interestingly though, Tracy, we've heard nothing of her pesky step-siblings in the last few days, so we wait to see whether they're invited. It would be amazing if, uh, if they are. That would be very forgiving of her, given some of the things that they've said about her. Um, will, the, will, the meeting, will the meeting with the parents and, and the in-laws be, be kept a secret? Because you imagine, I mean, her father seems quite shy. You imagine that they'll want to fly under the radar, but will there, there be some sort of photo opportunity? Look, we've not heard that as yet. They, they, some details have leaked out that there will be those private meetings. But certainly, as you say, uh, Dad is quite shy. So we haven't even seen any pictures of their arrival as yet here into London. Uh, that's only reported at the moment. So we get the feeling that it's going to be pretty private. What's the word on the dress? What's the betting? Well, as you and I have both read, Tracy, we know that the, the persistent rumour is that Australian designer Ralph and Russo have got the big gig of designing and creating the dress for Megan. But I actually spoke with her former agent and good friend Gina nalthorpe Cowan yesterday uh, and mentioned that designer to her. And she actually said that she thinks that we'll see uh, Megan step out of the car on the big day in something else, possibly Stella McCartney. The good thing for her, though, Tracy, is she's not going to have a Pippa Middleton moment. We're not going to see her upstaged by uh, any bridesmaid or maid of honour on the day. And that is simply because she's not having adult bridesmaids. The one hiccup that could come for her, though, with regards to the dress, in the next few days, the Queen has to give her final approval on mm. the dress. So we can only hope, Tracy, that one is suitably impressed with the dress. <laughs> uh, I would imagine that one would be. All right, well, we're all very excited. We'll hear yes. from you over the coming week. Thanks very much, Laura. Thank you. Reporter Laura Turner there in London.